Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing uh, some social media platforms that I utilize, uh, which was two. Uh, it could have been a third one, but it was two. Basically, resell a item that I got from a uh, junk removal job. Now, this junk removal job was actually items from a estate sale. The two of them kind of stood out, so I, I decided that, you know, a lot of people tell me, you know, hey, give it a shot to try to resell an item to some sort of platform where you got collectors and people that's looking to buy stuff. Went on eBay. That was the first first platform that I went on eBay because I know collectors are out there when it comes to eBay. However, after performing a search on eBay, I did not find any carousels, any kids carousels such as what we have here. This is my post, by the way. So I didn't find any. I didn't find any on here, which basically pinpointed that eBay was in the best, you know, seller's market to, uh, you know, post this item due to the fact that this is such a bulky, heavy item. We would have to completely break this thing down in order to ship it, and it's still going to be heavy. You know, say, for instance, we were to sell this for $100, the buyer may end up still paying like $300 to ship it to their location. Um, I did get one bid, but it wasn't even for the asking price. The asking price is nowhere near the starting price. I decided that, okay, you know what? We got to kind of target this more locally. To do so, I jumped on Facebook Market. With Facebook Market, we were able to find multiple, multiple, and I mean multiple buyers that are interested and buying this carousel. Truth be told, this was the second time I relisted this item on Facebook. When I first posted, it didn't have this title. It just said, Kids Amusement Park. Kids Amusement Park. Now, truth be told, that type of title, you would normally expect from somebody that's on, you know, let's just say on Google Maps. You know, I got my kids, we're trying to go out. I wanna take them to somewhere fun. So I'm gonna go Google Maps type you know, kids, amusement park, boom. All right, we're gonna go there and we'll be able to do multiple activities. That's kind of what a amusement park represents, you know, multiple activities. So I was just like, okay, I can't do that. So then I put three seater carousel, and then boom, the description match, pony carousel ride. I'm like, ah, that's what we're gonna use. Another thing to point out with pony, Pony is a trending word. The next other trending word when it comes to horses or this, that, and the third would be unicorn. You know, a lot of people like unicorn designs, logos, items. So I'm just like, you know, that's perfect. Let's just utilize Pony because it would somewhat reference, you know, unicorn. Also, with the price being set to zero, that kind of triggers in somebody's mind that, oh, this item must be free. Let me, let me send them a message. Some people that were responding based off of just saying the price, but then some people also actually took the time to read the description and see that it says for best offer. So when they will respond, hey, could you do this? Hey, could you do this? Hey, is it available? Could you do this? All right. The first time I listed this, it did not have these pictures here. If you look at the second and third picture, you can kind of see that I'm stationary, but yet the ponies are changing around. And that's because I took the pictures while this carousel was in motion, which I also wrote that here, proof of video available to basically tell people that, hey, this, this, this carousel does work and I have proof to show you. Proof of video, it works all the time when it comes to trying to get attention from buyers. You share, you share that video, you'll get that attention like that. So it's got the coin dispense mechanism with a bypass button, which when you press the bypass button, it allows the carousel to go around for roughly 10 to 15 minutes. I took a picture of the underneath to show you the frame, no rust. Again, this has been sitting in a basement for years. If this was left outside, it will be rusted, but this, pff, that's clean, that's real clean. And as you can see, yes, there's dust because it was on the floor, you know, with that motor being on the floor, even though it's got, you know, legs and stuff, it still picked up some dust, but it worked because we had a video to show it worked. I actually took a picture of the motor too. So that way, if we catch the tensions of a collector, more than likely they'll be familiar with motors. Whoever is interested in buying it, more than likely they know how to operate it, which also means more than likely they are aware of the different type 
of motors. If there was an issue, say for instance with the motor, they're more than likely to be able to do some research and find parts. So this is the actual picture that I had before. And let me just say, it. this picture does not sell me. If I'm a buyer, this picture is not gonna sell me at all. I see a carousel on the floor taken apart, which looks like it's missing parts. That doesn't sell me. So here's a uh, photo of when I actually temporarily reassembled. I really didn't have anything bolted down, but I just had everything temporary set up so I can just snap a picture of it. You know? As I explained before, I also took a video. It was a temporary video. Uh, it wasn't long. I didn't really go over the whole mechanism of the kids car so which I could have and trust me it would have benefited me well but I was in a time crunch I had some jobs lined up that I needed to knock out I'll give you guys a quick preview of this video so that way you can see and you can also hear that the motor is in motion whomever is interested in buying this item you know they have proof that okay this carousel works I'm hearing the motor, I'm not hearing any crazy issues. As you can see, it's just spinning around. It does have a little speaker underneath there uh, to play music, but that music mechanism, or more so that speaker, is, uh, is very faint. It's very faint to hear, which is a common issue with uh, the carousels. Learning from an actual you know, buyer this person that bought it actually has one. It's just that this one is better than the one that they bought. You know, the one that they bought originally is a little cheaper. But this one, straight up professional. That's what actually made everybody be super duper, duper interested in this carousel. Because it's, it's a professional carousel. It's one that you would legitimately find at a mall or, you know, some sort of park. So that's the coin dispenser. Uh, the red button is there to bypass, you know, all of the coin mechanisms and basically you press the button and it basically stays on between, I think, 10 or 15 minutes. So, you know, for me moving around, kind of do that to kind of show, hey, it's no trick camera. It's just me on my iPhone. And, um, you know, you see that this carousel is really spinning around kind of step away and play it again kind of step away again also so that way you can see that there's no issues you know no smoke or anything like that coming from underneath because it's got a belt there but uh yeah it's i love it i absolutely love it i'm like it's, i would have kept it and uh invited my niece and nephews and everybody over but you know they're they're too grown if you're going to sell an item please take pictures and if the item has something in movement take a video the last thing that I was also trying to sell was this bad boy here let me just show you one picture as you guys can see what does that look like that is a huge gigantic movie theater bubblegum machine they actually had a lot of bubblegum in here and let me tell you it's a couple of hundred pounds probably a hundred probably a hundred pounds but it was awkward weight that's what made it kind of difficult because all of the weight is on the top and then the bottom is basically uh, fiberglass. So just imagine having 125 pounds. That's all, this whole thing is just gonna be heavy at the top and light at the bottom and that's exactly what it was. Especially when we had to get that bubble gum out. So we had to tilt it and let it spill out from the top. Well, that was a three man task to just to even do that, just to tilt it. Cause you know, you don't want to get, you don't want to get smashed or anything like that. So this is basically what the item actually looked like while it was actually at home. Seeing that I wasn't finding anybody on eBay or Facebook, um, I just, I just, I just had to let it go. The people were responding on Facebook for this item, but it just was taking just too, too much of my time to really conversate with people. You know, people had a lot of questions, but they weren't too serious. Whenever it comes to selling an item, I'm always interested in someone that is seriously interested. Someone's not just gonna ask me questions and then try to lowball me. I want someone that's seriously interested in investing, like someone that's familiar with that type of stuff. Some other apps that I was also interested uh, in trying to post this was for, was Letgo, or I guess you could say Letgo's changed his name to uh, OfferUp. So that's another uh, app that I was looking at trying to post this item. 
But before I was even able to post this on Let Go or offer up, the item was basically uh, you know, found a buyer that was serious about purchasing this item. So I, I would definitely highly, highly recommend that, you know, check eBay, uh, check Facebook Market, check uh, offer up, Let Go, uh, and also check Craigslist. I was also looking at posting this on Craigslist. You'll make your adjustments. You'll have to, you know, revise your post, update your descriptions. Um, but, you know, as long as you provide enough information, but not too much information. Too much of a description is too much information to read. Okay. Too much information to read is just going to scare buyers away. Even if you have a good description of the item, you're still going to get the same questions, the same concerns, and it's just part of the game. It's just part of the game of, uh, you know, selling an item. Yeah, I definitely found that Facebook Market was definitely a much successful platform to sell this particular item due to the fact that within my community, there were a lot of buyers out there or yeah, a lot of buyers out there that were looking for something like this for their kids. That would definitely help you be successful for reselling junk removal items. All right, guys, hopefully those tips will help you be able to find a social media platform to resell your items that you receive from junk removal. You know, this learning experience, um, I learned that be mindful of how you handle some items because this particular item all the scuff marks and stuff on here it wasn't originally like that that happened you know when it came to junk removal um and truth be told whenever a customer calls me all of the items that they're basically concerned about removing from the property is considered junk to me it's not considered something that um, i'm going to resell however you got to keep in mind that you know i am also trying to run a business so, you know, it would be beneficial to keep my eyes open for items that we might be able to resell to also increase our business profits because we got bills. We have bills. If you can try to maximize on your business profits, it will help you down the line. So when you have those additional business expense, you'll have some money on the side that you can leverage off of, which this particular uh, item here, the uh, pony, uh, <laughs> carousel it has definitely helped bring money back to my business uh, which that money was you know reallocated to my truck maintenance it's definitely experience that I've learned gained a better understanding of keeping an eye out for items whenever it comes to these junk removals your items that you know estate sales garage cleanouts apartment cleanouts uh, those type of jobs or even businesses you know businesses that may be going out of business or this that and third you know get some decent stuff to resell but we're gonna wrap this video up so I definitely appreciate your time you know if you're not a subscriber to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button definitely don't forget to hit that notification button because you just might miss a good video also, I want to give a shout out to my new subscribers and my viewers. I definitely appreciate your support. See you.